Welcome back everybody to this new video tech express. Today I'm going to show you how to get starting and to doing a chest order inside of Shopify. So welcome back to Express guys, today let's see what we can do. But very first of all is to understand what exactly is a test order. So performing a test order helps you verify that your checkout processes functionally correctly, including the payment processing, shipping calculation and order confirmation. This one is essential step to ensure everything is working as it should. So. Uh, before uh, placing a test order, you need to enable test mode for your payment getaway. So I'm going to sign in directly into my store. Once I am signed in, I'm going to focus into the left part that says settings. Inside settings, let's locate the element that says billing or the actual payment. So inside payments, you can see that we have this drive element. So choose, choose the payment getaway that you are using for this transaction. Scroll all your way down and make sure that we can use the test mode added. So simulate successful and failed transactions. So I go for updated and all my Stripe transactions are going to be simulated. So I can go for save and there we go. Now um, creating a test order. Now to test mode is enabled. Now that this one test mode is enabled, let's create a test order. So if you go directly into your store storefront, you can browse and select the product we wanted to test for. So let's go here into online store, view your online store. Inside this store, I'm going to look out for catalog. We can see that everything works correctly. If it looks fine, I select one product. And this is the part where you want to add the product to your cart and proceed to the checkout. So let's say, for example, you choose one specific color, you choose one size, you go for add it to the cart. And now into view cart, where you can go directly into checkout. Now in here, it's going to be asking you to input all your information about the context, this is the delivery, the shipping method, the payment, and so much more. So let's focus now inside context. And I'm going to look out here for, let's say, for example, I could go for this email. I got my first, my last name, just fill this information as you currently get started. Now, if you don't want to get challenges or you think that you can get challenges for this product, what you can do is to create a, just a trial discount code. So I'm going to go into Shopify. Let's go into discounts. And here in discount, what I can do is to create a new discount. So amount of a specific product. So discount code, we can generate this, for example, let's go for a trial count value percentage let's go for 90 percent of the product so it applies to a specific product or a specific collection i can go for a specific product and i can select all of them if i wanted to and the specific collections go for browsed and i select my three elements now no need required all the customers maximum discount uses and there we go now starting today go for say the discount now i'm going to use this discount code to myself so I'm going to be getting charges for just a little bit of money and make sure that everything works correctly. So as you can see, I have just applied the 90% of this element and I'm going to be paying this amount now. Now I can just fill all my information here and go for the payment and lastly go for pay now. Now we have an actual support section of the Shopify that can be helping you to simulate successful transactions. So enter the card type, for example, this Visa. You enter at least two words, to expiry date, any date in the future, and secure code. Enter any four digits to test and make express or enter any uh, three digits to test all the cards. And hit now into pay now. Now my order should be now processing. As you can see, it says confirmation. Thank you, your order is confirmed. So as you can see, here are the order details confirmation for this product. And I can go directly into continue shopping. Now let's head back directly into the Shopify. Here, let's review the test order that we could just generate it. So let's go back here. Let's go and look out for orders. And here you can check out directly the test order to ensure that the, all the details such as the payment, the shipping, and the order confirmation are correct. So you can see how the order number, the date, the customer, the channel, the total that I paid for it, the shipping product, the customer, the conversion summary, the paid, the timeline, everything that appears in here. So you can see everything works correctly. As you can see, we have now the U card was declined. Try again or use a different payment method. 
if you go back you can see that appearing here into the orders you should see that there is an abandoned checkout or there's a draft if something is not working into this element so if i am the actual seller or if i am the buyer I can see that there's an actual issue and I can see now what happens directly with my purchase if I have something that is not usual. So that is how we can actually do these elements here into Shopify guys. Once you have configured the test order went through correctly, then we can disable the test mode. You can go back into orders, select your order, I'm going to select my order. And of course, I can go for edit and I can go back into the orders and I can delete this order in order for disable the test mode and then go back directly and enable and I'm ready to get started here into Shopify. So with that being said, guys, you have already the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools, how to get started using these great tools of Shopify totally for free. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.